Hey there, friends, and good Tuesday morning to you. Happy Election Day. I'm meteorologist Chris Martin. If you're heading out to the polls, make sure to grab a jacket or coat. Gloves and scarves will come in handy as well. We have several locations across the high plains down below the freezing mark. While here in town, we've stayed about 42 degrees so far. Afternoon will be much warmer, though. Highs in the 60s and 70s, with the humidity falling off to 29%. A drying potential is in the high category yet again today, and soil temperatures haven't changed much. Upper 40s to low 50s from 2 to 6 inches. We'll top out close to 70. In the afternoon, most of the area in the 60s or the 70s, so slightly cooler air back up towards the north, and then the next cold front comes in later on tonight. Now that drops our daytime temperatures back about 20 degrees down, 49 for the afternoon on Wednesday with ample cloud cover, and then the upper level winds strengthen right over the high plains and create some lift in the atmosphere to bring us a chance for some scattered showers. Uh, there will be some dry air out there as well, so uh, we're looking at uh, light to moderate rain on occasion, not a lot of heavy precipitation, and there will be the possibility of that. That switching over to snow for the Oklahoma Panhandle and northern parts of the Texas Panhandle. Although accumulations look to be very, very low, if anything at all, the ground is too warm and unfortunately not looking at much in the way of precipitation, or much in the way of moisture helping out that situation. By Friday, though, we're waking up to temperatures below the freezing mark. We'll look for a daytime high of 52, so trying to get back up there, but we'll heat up to the 60s on Saturday, close to average, then cool off yet again for Veterans Day. The next cold front pushing on through, that one looks to be dry, and we'll top out at 52 degrees for that afternoon. Hope you have a fantastic day, friends. Thanks for clicking on myplanes.com.